This is your show, dude. Through scientific study, I have found that people like my videos more if there's a beautiful girl sitting with me. So I'm just a pretty face, huh? <laughs> I was recently helping. <laughs> I'm being emphatic. <laughs> I was recently helping a young man work on some uh, Boy Scout requirements because he's working to get his eagle and earn some merit badges for that. And it was... <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just look at it <laughs> blankly? Or can I look at you while you speak? Because otherwise I'm just going to be like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I, yeah. I Don't that. be hating. <laughs> we can talk about zombies. Okay, let's talk about zombies. What do you know about zombies? There are multiple kinds of zombies. There are fast zombies and there are slow zombies. I prefer the slow zombies so I can get away. But it seems to be a recurring theme that zombies want brains. Why brains and not other organs? I'm not real sure. It's gotta be the protein. But you can get protein from other organs. I, anyway... Not to mention, getting to the brain seems more difficult than getting to other organs as well. You have to crack the skull open. That just seems difficult. Whereas, you know, the liver maybe or the, the kidneys, maybe, maybe, that would be easier. Maybe the zombies have zombie superpowers, or they know something to, like, get into the brain yeah, easily. Know. Like squirrels and nuts. I haven't figured that out. I haven't watched a lot of zombie movies, because most of them are rated R. But um, I play Plants vs. Zombies, and I conquered that game. <laughs> Those zombies are not getting in my house and eating my brains. Bam! I, yeah. I blow them up with cherry bombs and spadows. It's an awesome game. <laughs> how, how do you prepare for zombies? Oh, zombie apocalypse. Well, you need a baseball bat, for sure. That's okay. You need one of those. Shotguns, those seem to be pretty effective. Okay. Um, fire seems to scare them off. They don't seem to enjoy that very much. Uh, it, so, matches, lighter fluid. That's Stock up on your canned goods so you can, you know, board up your windows and and survive until they eat each other or something. I feel so much safer now. <laughs> I think we're halfway there. We've got, you know, some canned goods and we've got a baseball bat. I don't think the BB gun will do us much good, though. <laughs> Probably not. So what advice would you give to some poor soul watching us talk about zombies? I have a better question. What are you doing to prepare for the zombie apocalypse? That's what I was getting at. Um, I was sorry. wondering what you would tell the viewer that they could do. Oh, I already suggested stuff. Stock up on your food storage and have a baseball bat. <laughs> and go to zombie school, learn about zombies. There are there are books, manuals on how to prepare. I've seen them. Also, there's a great book called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. For, for the more, you know, literary of, oh, of, of our I readers. have something to say about zombies. There is a, um, there's like a 5K run or something like that where it's a survival run. You have to not get caught by the zombies. There's like actual 
zombies on the course, and if they <laughs> grab... Sounds awesome! And you have, <laughs> I think, flags around your waist, like, uh-huh. capt- and not capture the flag, but flag football. Yeah, yeah. And if you run out of flags because the zombies get you, you're, you, you're you done. Lose. Yeah. That sounds awesome. I love it. <laughs> so that's my contribution to the zombie episode. Yeah. Brains. Ah! <laughs> Bum ba da dum ba bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum 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 bum. I'm not here to tell you that.